high fans of high quality entertainment. If you want to hear a very funny, true camping story, check out my uh, camping story video here later. But watch this video first. And guess what band I'm ranking next? You'll never guess. You'll never guess in a million years. Black Sabbath, that's right. I actually uh, have a ranking for Black Sabbath's Paranoid, and I'll get to Sabotage at some point and their debut album, and maybe one or two more. But today's video is on a great album, Master of Reality. And I think that's the first Black Sabbath album I ever bought. It's not the first one I ever heard, but it's the first one I bought. So here we go, and as always, I would love your comments in the comment section below. I read each and every comment, and I really appreciate the feedback. <clears throat> Number eight. Now, on almost every Black Sabbath album, there's this one weird track, and on Master of Reality, it's Embryo. But it's kind of cool. It's... Uh, disturbing in a way, and it fits right in with, I, I believe it's, uh, it goes into Children of the Grave, doesn't it? Yeah. And uh, so it's kind of building up to that track. It's cool. It's hard to dance to, though. Number seven, Orchid. What a beautiful track. And you don't necessarily think of beautiful and Black Sabbath at the same time, but it is. It's a really nice acoustic number, and uh, there's usually at least one, like there's a weird track and, an, and some acoustic slow number on almost every one of the Aussie Black Sabbath albums. It's cool. Number six, Solitude. I thought I'd just be weird for a few seconds. It's fun. Number six, Solitude. It's similar in a way to uh, Planet Caravan from Paranoid. And I, I'm trying to figure out who is doing the vocals. It could be Ozzy, but it also could be Bill Ward. And I've been reading like uh, these Black Sabbath forums and people are fighting about whose vocals it is. Some are saying it is Ozzy, some are saying it's Bill Ward. And I don't know, but it's a really nice track. I, I like it a lot. Number five, Lord of This World. I used to just think it was a average Black Sabbath song, but listening to it again today, it's like, yeah, it's, it's better than average. It's a very good Black Sabbath song, but it's not a great one, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Number four. Now we're getting into the good stuff. I love the intro to this album with uh, Tony Iommi's cough. I guess he was smoking something a little funny, and he was choking. Sweet Leaf. Maybe, maybe he was smoking a sweet leaf. And actually, when the album came out when I bought it. I had no idea what they were singing about. I didn't know anything about mar marijuana. And so it took me a few years to realize, oh, that's what they're singing about. I had no idea. So number four, Sweet Leaf. Number three, After Forever. I just love the, uh, I don't know what it is about, about the track. The, the, the production just seems so much crisper than the previous track, Sweet Leaf, and the, the percussion or, or whatever. Just, I love it. Number two, once again, it wasn't, I just thought it was a, a good track back when this album came out. But nowadays, I realize what a classic it is, and I love the intro. Doom, do, 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 do. Sounds just like a Children of the Grave. Yes. And the scary part at the end. Whoa. And number one, I'm wondering with, this is kind of what I love doing about these ranking videos is trying to figure out what the, the majority of fans would pick for number one. And 
I'm thinking, like me, it would be into the void, but maybe it would be children of the grave. So let me know in the comments section below. But for me, it would be into the void with one of the greatest riffs of all time. The only thing about the, the song is the really fast part. I never used to enjoy it as much as the slower part of the song, but now I finally do enjoy the whole song. So, number one for me is yes, Into the Void. And speaking of yes, I will be doing a yes ranking, an album ranking at some point, and more Beatles, more Led Zeppelin. I want to try and do less known artists too, like Sparks. Uh, I'll do some ZZ Top, Credence Clearwater Revival. This is going to be fun, but it's going to take a while, a few years. And uh, so thank you for watching, and like I said, I hope you check out my quite humorous, true camping story on my ASMR channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.